If you were in a rough situation, maybe an abusive relationship, or maybe you just felt broken or empty, a lot of people can relate to that. Wouldn't you agree that the only thing that you'd want is hope? Our next guest is a part of a ministry that aims to revive that spark of hope. Poncho Johnson and Dr. Michael Russell are here with the Take My Hand Ministry. Thank you so much for coming in this afternoon. Thank, Thank you. you. Now, can you give us an overview of Take My Hand Ministry? I think it started with me in about 1995, 96. I was a parish minister and felt very called to step out and help women, a woman minister for women. And um, was very lucky to find somebody to finance an infomercial for me on a regular basis. And we got to meet women all over Delmarva who had needs, who were looking for a woman who would understand some problems. Also they had f financial needs sure. or some other situations like that. And we raised our own money and we were able to step in and do many small miracles for people we would never otherwise meet. So uh, w how is it that women are chosen for Take My Hand? There's basically, we just interview them and find out what the real need is. A lot of times uh, what they feel they need is not necessarily what they need. Uh, maybe they need a real uh, friend, somebody just to vent on to try to clean their lives up. And so we work through uh, many different organizations, especially like the Milford Police Department, and try to find people that are of true need because the officers of our uh, community do help in running across them on a daily basis. There are a lot of places that help people that are not faith-based. Do you think that being faith-based has kind of given you an advantage uh, in the long term here? Yes. Fantastic. We see miracles every day. You mm -hmm. see them in, in all situations. And fortunately, it's God's way of showing us that He's in control, not us. Now, so. is that a message that you then portray to the women who are receiving the help? When we are trying to help people, we just tell them that they need to thank God for it because that's who gave it to us. For sure. And realize that without Him, we wouldn't have anything. All right. Now, you know, Delmarva is, is one giant helping hand. How can people get involved? How can people help? Well, you can go to the Take My Hand Ministry Facebook page. Uh, we have an event that's probably that's coming up this Sunday. We're trying to revamp the website, but the Facebook page right now seems to be uh, a more visited, more active piece. Now, I want to know from both of you, what does it mean to each of you to be able to work with a ministry that helps so many people? I want to make a presentation. Oh, which, I love presentations. Which might um, <laughs> explain that. Um, when I was very active in Take My Hand, um, someone designed this for us, and the hand you take isn't mine. It's God's. Right. You know, we're just the connector that takes your hand. And so, Wonderful. That's um, beautiful. That, that's the show and tell. And I'm passing it on to Poncho today because he's the heir apparent. <laughs> okay. So this is a little ceremony that yes. we're witnessing here today. Yes. Now, Poncho, what does it mean to you to be a part of something that gives back? I feel rewarded because we're able to show and help each other. We're all in this together in, in this world, and as long as we can help each other, that's what it's all about. Very we cool. can't take anything with us when we, we pass on, so the only thing we can do is help each other. Now, are there any, without getting too personal, obviously, are there any stories that stand out in your mind, just, just something that should just be boasted from the couches? I had the highest compliment anybody will ever pay me because I feel when I listen to myself on tape and stuff, you know, you never like your voice. Right. <laughs> Trust me, I'm in the field. <laughs> and I never liked mine particularly. And I'm this particular client I had, I never met. I, we did a lot of stuff through the phone. She moved to um, the beach area from lower, uh, around Pocomoke area. And she said, I heard you on this different radio station. And she said, when I heard that voice, she said, I knew that if I just could hear that voice, you would lead me out of any place. And I said, that's the highest compliment that I've ever known, because that is not something I would have. Sure. And, and she was a lovely person. And she really, I, I have met so many people that just really just needed that little push and never thought they'd get it. Fantastic. and turned their life around. Poncho Johnson and Dr. Michael Russell with the Take My Hand Ministry. Thank you so much for coming in. We Thank certainly so do much. appreciate Pleasure. it. Thank you.